actually going to explore the fiber arts and I'm going to teach you how to make this nifty little finger loom. Okay, I've already got mine started here. And what you're gonna do is you're going to learn to knit. It's very easy, very simple. And you can create all kinds of things with this. You could make it shorter and tie it off and make it into a bracelet. It could be a necklace, it could be a belt. I'm actually gonna try to do a headband to wear. You could also take it and sew buttons on the ends and then you could attach your mask to it so that you relieve the pressure off your ears. But anyways, this was really simple to make. Okay, so what you're going to need today is you're going to need four buttons. You're going to need a paper tube. This could be a um, paper towel tube, a toilet paper tube. It could be um, a tube from saran wrap or aluminum foil, and that would actually work better because it would be a little heavier. You would also need tape or glue. You're gonna need either four pop sticks or, four co or two coffee stir stirs, which you could cut in half. <clears throat> um, you're gonna need either fabric or duct tape and of course, yarn so that you can make it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to move the camera here so you can get a better view. I'm gonna use a glue gun today just for time's sake, but you could use tape. I don't do very well with the tape, so that's why I use glue. You could use glue, it would just take time to set. And believe it or not, Miss Deb is getting low on popsicle sticks. This is my very last one. So I guess it's time to restock. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pop stick and then I have my paper towel tube and I am going to make it about four inches long because that's a comfortable distance for me. So I'm going to measure off four inches here. I'm just going to make a little mark. And then I'm going to cut that as straight as I can. And then I'm going to take my pop sticks and I want them about one and a half inches up. Okay, just give me a second. I gotta find the one that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my glue gun and I am going to hot glue the edges around the paper towel tube. Like so, I want it to stick out maybe about an inch, inch and a half. I guess you couldn't see that. I didn't do a very good job. And so I'm gonna make them opposite each other. So if you're doing this with tape, you would just tape these on. So I would start with some scotch tape and then follow up with duct tape all around. Okay, so yes, and I glued my finger there. So there I have my four glue. Now the reason you want four buttons is especially if you are younger, you might have a little trouble just getting your um, yarn to stay on the sticks. So I'm just gonna glue a button kind of as a holder to each stick. Two, three, and four. Now, to make it your own, you can either continue, you could get some of that fancy duct tape and you can duct tape it all around, and make it pretty. But for me, what I have on hand, I don't have fancy duct tape, but I do have lots of fabric scraps. So I am just gonna quickly glue some fabric so if you wanna do that, you can too. And I'm just gonna glue, I'm actually gonna kind of glue it to the sticks as I turn it. See how fast this is going? 
Okay. Ta-da! And then I'm just gonna trim off those edges. And I'm just gonna put a little glue along the inside and fold them down around there. I just ran out of my glue st stick. Okay, so I'm just tucking that inside, holding it down to make sure it's glued. And voila, there is my little finger lit knitting glue. But you're like, okay, now what do I do? Okay, so to get it started, you're gonna Take your yarn and you're going to just let the end fall through the tube. Pull it out so you have a couple inches there. And then you're gonna kind of hold it with your hand to give tension. And then I'm gonna start um, with my first stick. And I've got the yarn here. It's gonna go oh, around the stick, around the back, around the back, across the front to the next one, around the back and across the front. Around the back, across the front, and then I am back. And do you see what that looks like? Can you see that? Okay, so now we're gonna get started knitting. Okay, if you want, you can take the end of a knitting needle or um, anything that's sharp that you could pick it up. This is a crochet hook. So. You're gonna take your working yarn, which is the one that's connected to your skein, and you're gonna put that on and on top of this, the loop you already put on there. Then you can pick up that loop either with your finger and you just pull it off like that and give it a little tug here. You wanna kinda of keep some tension on that. And then you go to the next one, make sure it goes on top. You can pull it off with your finger or if you have trouble picking it up, you might have to loosen up your tension on the end. I've got some glue stuck on my finger, so it's making it a little harder. And see how the button helps hold that so it, I don't lose it. And you just give a little tug on this bottom string to snug it up. And that's all you do. And you are actually knitting. And the knitting is forming in the middle of the tube. Now, the other one that I showed you, I think I only worked on that for maybe five minutes, so it really goes pretty fast. So again, lay it on top, pick that up, and over, give a little tug. Again, over the top, pick it, pick it up, and over. On the top, pick it up, and bring it over, a little snug on the top of that, and you're gonna pick that up, and over, okay? So you can see how it's forming, okay? And it's gonna come down through the bottom here. Okay, so let's go back to the first one that I made here. Okay, so say I am all done. And I'll actually, I'll do a few more here to show you. So I'm taking this one up and over, this one up and over, And over, up and over, and a little tug, up and over, and a little tug, up and over, and a little tug. Okay, so let's say I am done with this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my end, and I am going to pick up my loop. And I'm just gonna put this through the loop, the end. And that's off now. I'm gonna do it for the next one, too. I'm gonna thread that through. That's two, give a little tug. Three, gets a little trickier. Find my end. Give a little tug. And my last one, I'm gonna pick it right out of there. Gonna give it a little tug. Get it through. 
ta-da, pull it. And there, look at that. All right, okay, and as I said, I think I'm going to use this as a headband. So I'm gonna just take it and let's see, I can, I've got that tied. I can tie it. Do, 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 do. If I could tie. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? Okay, now I'm gonna twist it around. Whoop, crazy hair. All right, what do you think? You like my headband? So that is art in the afternoon with some crazy hair with Miss Deb. And you can make your own nifty little finger looms and let's see what you can come up with. Okay, have a great week. Bye.